This is perfect for festivals, weddings, and photo shoots. Here's what you'll need. Some coiled wire, stem wire, wire clippers of course, some brown silk ribbon, a hot glue gun and glue sticks, and of course, your flowers. You can grab these from your local art store in every color imaginable. All right, so we have our materials, let's do this. Grab in the coiled wire, place it on your head like a headband, and when you figure out how long you need to make it, fold it over at the appropriate spot, and we're gonna make the band thicker. I'm gonna do this one more time, folding it over again, since I'm planning on attaching a ton of flowers so that it'll be stable. So when it's about three layers thick, just trim the end, Whoa. And I'm gonna twist the coiled wire together to make it one solid headband. Now just shape it back into that looped shape of a headband. I'm gonna get rid of those rough ends and create a more secure backing. So grabbing your hot glue gun, apply a little bit of glue about an inch up from the bottom. I'm wrapping the ribbon tightly around the glue, working from bottom and up. When you've covered all the glue, apply one more layer of glue on the ribbon and then wrap your way back down towards the end. Now just cut the ribbon off, leaving enough to wrap around the back and tie into a bow. Now I just make a quick knot to keep it from pulling at the glue and repeat the same thing on the other side. Now that our ends are nice and finished, we can start to decorate. So I bought these flowers from my local art store. You can choose any color combination that you want. I was kind of going for a midsummer's night type of look, so I went with really rich jewel colored tones that work well together. Also, while you're picking flowers, you may want to think about grabbing different textures to keep it interesting. So I'm just prepping my flowers by pulling the petals off, and it's really easy, just like pulling real petals off a flower. You can even grab some of the leaves off the stems to add a little bit of variety. All right, so we've picked all of our beautiful petals, grab the stem wire, and these are a bit too long, so I cut them in half using the wire clippers. I'm gonna make the first row of flowers that I wanna add, which are a mix of navy and teal petals. And once you remove them from the branch entirely, you're gonna see that they have a hole in the middle. Just string the wire through the hole on each petal, kind of like a shish kebab. And I like to work a few petals at a time so I can be super precise. So when you have a good amount on there, you're gonna take the wire, find a space in the headband to stick the wire through, and then twist the end of the wire around the headband to secure it. Now just fluff those petals out, placing them where you like them, and then where those flowers stop, wrap the wire around the headband so that they stay in place and don't move. Now if you have more room on that wire, just string on some more petals, placing the flowers where you want them, and then wrap the wire around the headband to secure it in place. Now, just keep stringing on as many petals as you have room on the wire. And when you reach the end of that wire, just wrap the excess around the headband. And just try to press the end of the wire down flat so that it doesn't snag on your hair. All right, so now that the first layer is done, it looks really cute like this. And you can keep it like that if you want, but I want it big, like really big. So I'm gonna add more petals. And here's a quick tip, instead of just adding on the other petals and winging it, I like to kind of stage it first. Just to kind of see how it'll look and if I'm placing each color in the right spot. That way if it doesn't look right, I can move each petal around and get it in the exact right spot before I commit. And you may even find that you don't need all the colors that you chose, so it's nice to have it worked out beforehand. Anyway, once you get it the way that you like it, I like to take a quick photo of the arrangement on my phone. That way I can look at it and use it as a reference as I place the rest of the petals. All right, so using my picture here as a reference, I repeat the same technique, stringing the petals onto the wire and wrapping the wire through and around the headband. And if you wanna build that headband out to make it bigger, just secure the wire looser. That way the flowers can stick out more. And from here, you can even loop wires around other wires to build up the height and create a more rounded shape. So here, I'm just locating that looser loop and wrapping another wire around it. And now you can string more petals on there and build it out just like normal. And when you reach the end, just twist it around another wire to secure it. Fluff out the petals and move on. So I'm just gonna keep building this out, but let me quickly show you how I attach leaves and petals that don't already have holes. It's super simple. Just grab the wire and push it through the fabric, just like that. I've been looking for you. Here's the final product. And now this is optional, but I'm just gonna cover the wires in the back to protect my hair. So really quickly, just grab your ribbon, part the flowers so that the wire and headband are showing, grab your glue gun and place a thin line up the headband. Once the glue is placed, secure your ribbon, pressing it into the glue. And we're gonna work from bottom to top, working small sections at a time. 
And again, you don't really need to do this. This is me just being a perfectionist. Also, if you don't have ribbon, you can create a secure layer between the wire and your hair just by placing hot glue and allowing it to cool. So that also works too. But personally, I like how the ribbon looks. And when you've reached the very end, trim the ribbon and you're good to go. And that's it, that's the back. And here's the front. This headband is super easy to make. You can make it as complex or as simple as you want in any color palette that you prefer. It's perfect for festivals, weddings, photo shoots. And if you're really not into huge flower headbands, you can make it even more simple and just wear it for every day. But I actually really love this over the flower crowns because I like how it kind of goes into the hair, whereas the flower crowns kind of sit on top. So I think it's amazing. So I love this thing, I'm a little obsessed. <laughs> All right guys, so I hope you like my flower headband. If you decide to make this yourself, please send me your pictures. I wanna see what color palettes you guys come up with and what designs, and yeah, happy crafting. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. If you guys missed my last video, you can click it here on top. I am back to doing my length checks now that I'm trying to grow my hair back out. So if you guys were into that, they are back. And if you're into daily vlogs, I've been having a couple of super busy weekends lately, including Afropunk. And you guys can see that all on my daily vlog channel. Well, almost daily. All right, guys, I'll link that on the bottom. I'll see you next time. Bye.